Hello oh, students, welcome to the channel. So today in this video we are going to discuss about the synthesis of triprolidine which is H1 antagonist. It is also known as acetidyl. So let's discuss the synthesis of triploridine. So we need the starting product for the uh, synthesis of triploridine and that is one para toly ethanol. plus HCHO that is an aldehyde with pyrolidine so there will be a manic reaction takes place and the product will be So by adding these structures, we get this structure. So by adding these one para tolethanol and pyrolidine and with aldehyde, we get this structure plus this structure. So now moving on the next one, next step. So in next step, there will be a nucleophilic addition and hydrolysis. Students, we will not get, we will not told you the basic steps. So in this there will be a nucleophilic addition and hydrolysis so the next structure will be So in this structure there is a simple step means there is a removal of MGBR and here the this structure gets add up so and it converts into OH ketone into alcohol. So now on next step we will do the dehydration and dehydration means the removal of H2O. Now we will get the final structure of triprolidine. Will happen means the removal of H2O so means students there will be a removal of this molecule so now we will get the double bond instead of this molecule this will appear 
after the removal of H2O. So the final product is triple lidine and it's coming on uh, its IPSC naming that its IPSC naming is 2,3 pyrolidine 1 aisl 1 para toli prop 1 enyl pyridine. So this is its uh, IPSC name now coming in on its use and its properties. It is a white crystalline powder and practically insoluble in ether and soluble in water and in ethanol. And its usual dose is 5 to 7.5 mg per day. So students, this is all about this video. I hope you will under understand this video. So please students subscribe and hit the bell icon for getting more updates on our coming videos. Thanks for watching.